In this question, we're asked to factorize x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6 equals 0. Now to get this cubic equation here, we would hope that it would come from three individual factors multiplied together. So let me just write those in. And this last value here, this plus 6, would come from multiplying the three constants in these brackets. So for example, if I had x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2, when I do the expansion of these brackets, I will end up with a plus 2. And obviously I would be multiplying it again by another term, let's say x plus 5. And if I did that, then I'd have a plus 10 as my final term on the end. So this plus 6 comes from multiplying three numbers together. Now it could be 1 times 6 times 1. It could also be 2 times 3 times 1. But we also need to look at negative values. So negative 1 times negative 6 times 1. Or negative 2 times negative 3 times 1. And there are some more variations of that. But we know straight away that it can't be any of these positive ones here. Because if we put a positive value into each of these terms, we will end up with a positive value at the end, which clearly won't be equal to 0. So for example, if I put 1 in here, well, 1 cubed is 1. We'd have 6 times 1, which is 6. 11 times 1 is 11, and then plus 6 on the end. Add those together and clearly that is not equal to zero. So we can eliminate this one and this one. Now let's try our negative one in here. Well negative one cubed is negative one. Pop the negative one into here, negative one squared is one times six, that would give me a plus six. Then we'd have a negative eleven and we'd have a plus six on the end. And clearly that is equal to 0. So therefore, x equals negative 1 is one of the solutions. So if x is negative 1, then x plus 1 is equal to 0. And that is one of the factors. So x plus 1. Let's go ahead and try another value here. Uh, let's try a 2. So if I put negative 2 into here, negative 2 cubed is negative 8. We put negative 2 into here, we'd get 4 times 6, that would be plus 24. Put negative 2 into here, we'd have negative 22. And then we get a plus 6, and that is also equal to 0. So therefore, x equals negative 2 is one of the solutions. And therefore, x plus 2 equals 0. And x plus 2 is also a factor. So x plus 2. Now clearly, we need to get an x cubed term. So we have to have an x here. We know they're all positive. And the only way to get a 6 on the end, well, we've got 1 times 2 is 2. So 2 times 3 will give me 6. And there is my final answer, the three factors, x plus 1, x plus 2, and x plus 3.